Right, hello again YouTube. Welcome back to From the Depths. Yeah, we're finally back. I'm going to record a bunch today. I'm going to try and get this series back on track properly and just record a load of it. Uh, you guys are full on resources. No, you could go back. Yes. This you guys back to grab that salvage quickly while we're here. Uh, but yes, we are back. We are tanking. Uh, so, we captured that point last time. I think our next thing might be to get a radar balloon up here so we can see what's going on. I believe the Naga is repairing these guys. It was, and it looks like it's run out of resources. Yes. That's fine. You can have as many as you need to get these guys fixed up. Yes. Oh, and then the Lord giveth. <laughs> I see. Listening. Even for giving stuff to the, uh, to the units. Oh, I've got lots of commodities, so we might as well use them. We're going to want that Naga up here anyway to build a uh, new resource gatherer on the, the Anaz Pass. The Lightning Hood's put up quite a good resistance for a little bit, but then they seem to have stopped again. I wonder if we could have a repeat of the White Flares where they're dangerous for a bit and then just sort of run out of stuff. It does seem to be a, a general recurring theme with uh, from the Depths' campaigns. Uh, as for the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Yes. Oh god, you do get through the resources quickly. Um, as for subscriber craft, I will get to those, um, but I'm thinking I might let them build up a bit each time. Oh, uh oh, I can't attack one of those that isn't defended. Is there anyone nearby who can help? No. Okay. Great. Do we have any Angies up yeah. there? No. Ah, because they're back there having repairs. Okay. We might just have to lose that one. Yeah. In fact, I might even just we'll scrap it entirely so we don't have to do the fight. Uh, one of you is on a supply run yeah. up to that. You can just go. On my way. Uh, that's the base, right? On my way. On my way. Okay. We do need to send someone up there though because that's going to be dangerous if that place could be destroyed at any minute. Uh, so. We'll get one of the Angies on it once it's once they're repaired. Yes. That might take a little while. For now, we're we'll probably going to have to hold against these incoming, which is yes. going to be interesting because way. there's a lot of them. On my way. On and a lot of our way. tanks, even though we've got a lot of tanks, a lot of them were damaged in the last fight. Any way to... I'll turn it into a dead blueprint and not destroy it. Excellent. Okay. Cool, so that way we can mitigate the speed penalty from... The destroyed one. Yes. Still kind of destroyed. Okay, so there is a way around that. We had problems with that before. Yeah, I'd ideally not like to let them get resourcing set up on that one. We're going to want that back fairly quickly, but again, the Andes are the best bet for that, and we need to repair those. Yes. Get those repairs up. Just got a lot of them to repair, though. And these guys. Yes. Start that battle. Yes. Now I'm going to do, however, is teleport to here to get the terrain loaded in. Right. Move into the back. As is tradition, some of them are damaged, but a fair few of them are in fighting condition. I'll also check resources so we don't actually don't end up with another situation where everyone's run out right at the start of the fight, but I think we're good. Yes. We'll be on board. If we go on board a damaged Nomica that we can maybe get back into the fight, we'll be on board that one. What is this that's also into the fight? Oh, it was a very lost Nomica, I see. Right. Okay, so one of them's got a particle cannon. I'm assuming it's the Zeus. That's got missiles. Uh, this one is facing the wrong way. Okay. Let us say we target that one. Targeting. Jesus, it's so loud. <laughs> Is that prompt always so loud? Not, not screenshot. F11. Has everyone at least spawned on the ground this time? They have. Okay, good. 
good. Ill the moment because we'll be able to move. The Vivians. I want to spawn on a hill, but that's fine. Now, any of these guys going to have lambs? I guess we'll have to find out in a sec. So I think that one's about to take some missiles, or are they actually... No, they actually, I think, are targeting the right thing this time. Yeah, that's not bad. Decoys look to have no effect, that's good. Wait, are we targeting our own tank there? What's going on? You know, I was praising you guys, but you're not targeting the right thing at all. You're not even close. Okay, actually, you know what? Target this thing. Targeting. Come on, getting close. Good. Okay, the second volley hit what they were supposed to be hitting. And it looks like they set it into a spin. Is it just no? Maybe it's just turning around. It's me foolish thinking we might have actually hurt the thing. We have to need to get that new Chris into the fight. Actually, they're forgetting we've got that one ready to go. So like we're going to be able to damage that one. I would say at least. Oh cool, we lost a lot very quickly. It's probably a case because these are the lighter designs, they don't resist the um hit scan lasers very well. Or the EMP because they haven't got so much heavy armor. That said, it's not like the Vivian's missiles aren't hurting them. There is definitely damage happening. I'm hoping that hover tank will smash into something, but its, ter it's terrain avoidance seems to be reasonably good. It's definitely the Vivians doing the damage there. If I'm going to mass produce any light tanks, it'll be those for this particular part of the campaign, I think. Some resources, I guess, but apparently I'm not in one. What's that volley going after this one? Oh, we have a collision. That is good. Oh, it's not a bad collision, though. Ah, that's less good. I was hoping that would have done quite a bit of damage, but I thought they just pretty much deflected off. Oh, no, speaking of collisions, we do have a ground collision. Multiple impacts with the ground, good. We've damaged the hover systems by the look of it. That's a bit mean, don't you think? Targeting. Oh, hand, target that one. I thought the Vivian was about to ram it there. <laughs> uh, maybe we should have said set uh, avoid collisions to false. Hey, actually, that might be a kill. Hey, we got one. One's totally destroyed. Two more, right? Oh, I think another one's gone. I think another one just smashed itself against the mountainside. We might still be able to pull this off. Even at heavy losses. It'd be really good if we could, because we'll get to keep the point. The one that's remaining looks to have suffered damage. It's still firing its particle cannon, but... We've still got some launchers working. That much damage though, this one's tougher than the others. Leaning a bit. We've definitely taken out one engine. Don't get those particle panels will bring us down quickly if we're not fairly quick in repairing. Are there any Vivians with yes. high-ish health remaining that we could get back online, perhaps? Yes. You. Got on board that one to try and keep it online. Of course, we do our repairs once we're on board one. Oh, the birdie system's down. It's got one forward thruster remaining and it looks like it's pitching over. Is it about to crash? Oh, it's about to crash. Oh, look at that. One last defiant shot, but I think we're going to be able to salvo it out of existence now. It's upside down. Okay, I thought we 
could well lose that one, so... Good comeback, guys. Good good work. So you're gonna... Someone's gonna save it. Yep. Looks like at least two of them are still firing. So hope even in its weakened state we can knock it out before that particle kind of manages to kill something we want. Want to keep alive. Oh, it's damaged. Oh, is it just that cur- oh. I think it is very damaged, actually. That particle cannon is uh, completely exposed down the top. Not only will it be wasting energy, but it could potentially... Actually, it probably won't damage itself coming out the top like that, but... We could, of course, try and capture it, but... Give it, I'm not sure how much time we'll have before it actually does some damage. I'm going to try and just let them salvo it and finish it off. Clearly something still to be said for uh, strength of numbers. Even if I would like to get some Angies and some of the new Chris's on mine to have a bit of strength of actual strength as well. I'm not sure how well the missiles will hit against the Lightning Hoods, but I'm sure if they do hit, they'll be hit, they'll be uh, very dangerous. It looks like its particle cannon's been knocked into an angle where it can't fire now. Well, let's stop it trying, but... Oh dear, look at the armor on this thing. Oh, that's heavy. I suppose it, you know, lightly armoured high-speed laser skimmer thing. They built them real beefy. Maybe we should even... Okay, we, we will try for a capture, actually, because... A lot of the Vivians has already turned off. That's probably not yeah. right. <coughs> oh, we did put a hatch in the roof of these, right? Yeah. I was say, we put a... I remember forward thinking a bit. That's why I'm giving the hatch. Right, we're going to go capture that one. It's clearly dead. We can add it to our list of things we could use. The Zeus seems to be quite a powerful craft, so... Let's go make this one ours. It is still firing, but very erratically. I don't think it's going to hit us. This might be famous last words. We might be about to get zapped, but... God, it is still hitting the vehicles, though. Cracky, even at that angle. I didn't think the, uh, that narrow lens had such a wide firing arc, but maybe I'm wrong. Unless it's shooting through itself as well, but even then. Actually, I don't know where it's firing now. Maybe its detection system's just shot and it's just firing at random. Also entirely possible. Oh, come on, why is it dark now? I need to be able to see. What's the button for our flashlight? Uh, that doesn't help. Me. Right. I actually cannot see into this thing for the life. Ah, oh, come on, daylight, please. Thank you. We'll cut in through the damage side. Try and leave that particle cannon intact because they're valuable. I guess that's this path. Look at all those steam engines. Get out of the way, I need to see if the thing's hiding in there. Oh, did we kill it? Oh, shoot, we killed it. Whoops! Oh, well. Look at that, we didn't even lose capture. Yes. On my way. Let's get everybody back. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, we won that one. Now goes the repairs on these two. Uh, hurry up. We need to go and capture those points. Or take them back, I should say. Listening. Yes. Yeah, Naga's running out of materials again. It's probably going to have to use nearly everything it's got to, keep, to get those uh, three fully repaired. Not going to be a cheap repair. It's a good thing we have resources to stop piling back at base. In fact, do we have it actually? No, okay, but it's going. Right, new Chris. Yeah. New tank there. We should be using it. 
Yes. You. How fast are you? I can't remember how fast you are. Hang on. We tell you to go there. Moving out. Play it. And actually give it some resources. The base is eating all the resources, isn't it? So you're land all vehicle. terrain reporting. Yes. Give me a little. Is that going to fully do it? Hey, there we go. Major cruising speed, right. It's reasonably fast. I could. We'll leave it there for now. I don't think it's going to be fast enough to get up to the others to capture them, but. Let me. Right. Moving out. Flip me. Moving out. Flip me. I'm not being repaired. Why is that one stopped repairs? Is it actually damaged? What's going on there? Yeah, no, it is definitely damaged. Flip me. Moving out. Oh, Moving I think it's ended up out of formation. Right, that's why. Right, so you Flip me. do flagship. Are you the flagship? Which one is the flagship? Oh, it is that one. Okay. And what is. Yes. Hello? Yes. Listening. Moving out. Moving out. What is going on there? Let's scrap the damage one. Do that right. They are fully repaired. Let's get up there. Moving out. It's a single matrix. I reckon you could take that on. The other one I think is also repaired. Listening. Yes. Get up there. Moving out. You can help out. Yes. Okay. You can go up to here and on we can build way. a new resource point to make up for the one we lost, basically. And we'll get a radar balloon in so we can see what's going on in their territory. Yes. This force on can also way. move out. Yes. Start taking a bit on more territory. Way. Yes. We'll do on repairs once the uh, Naga's done that. Might well lose that point, but we'll be able to retake it. Lift me. Sharing resources between each other, that. I think we're going to lose that point, but. Listening. Well, we could technically start the fight from there, but. Yeah, we're going to chase them. They are slightly faster than they are. Flip me. I we can actually beat this thing. Right. Flip me. Found a matrix, which is not one I remember the name of. Load the terrain to so don't repeat last time. Hide the resource bars this time. Let's go. Got this firing blue lasers. Right. It's unusual for them. They usually fire green. For, uh... right, what are we looking at? Oh, it's particle cannons. Okay. Is it? Or is it pulse lasers? Like pulse lasers and missiles. Okay. That's a nuisance, but the Angie's are tough. You can do it. Oh, good hit. It's slowed down already, actually. Is it just because it's turning? Ah, it's a front sider. Okay. Hit 
to the rear, something dropped off. I think as long as there's no critical hits, we'll be alright with these guys. Especially if that's how accurate their lasers are. Are they particle cannons or are those lasers? I think those are particle cannons, right? Yeah, particle cannons, okay. They're kind of quite similar in some ways. But the Angie is fully dedicated behind its particle cannon, whereas this thing is using missiles as well, and the Angies are bigger. Which I'm pretty sure they are anyway. They are fast enough to avoid the missile fire, so that's good. Keep evading, don't let those things hit you. Turn this thing down and we should be alright. This engine's are pulsing, I don't know if that's just because it's using them gently or whether that's because there's something malfunctioning in it, but I'd like to think it was the second. Explosive hits aren't doing too much. I believe there have been some improved Angie designs submitted, so it might be worth doing some work on them, but we're using one of the improved designs. But yeah, what we said, I believe, I remember now I remember they we actually looked at them, didn't we, in the last uh, subscriber craft episode. Yes, my point is that they are improvable, most definitely. Okay, we're starting to open up the casing on one of those cannons. In fact, I think one of the cannons is down. In fact, they might both be, because I think they've been taking the hits. I think if we can knock those launchers offline, this thing will be disarmed entirely. Oh, big puff of steam. I think an engine's been breached, looking at the steam coming out of it now. Yeah, one en well, one engine is just offline. It's not there anymore. Those laser-guided missiles. I'm actually kind of surprised they're not hitting. Given that fact. You two going to collide? Nope. Hey, look at that. Collision avoidance actually working. Wonderful. Yeah, I think they've got this. It's not firing back anymore. Excellent. Take this thing out and we can take that point, take that terrain back. Actually, no, I'll probably send them up to the uh, fight the other one. I believe it's just another one of these on the other point, so these two should be able to kill it. Might even wait until all the energies are there and completely swarm it. Case of finishing it off now. God, look at the insides of it. It's long particle beams for a ship that size. They really didn't do that much, though. I don't know whether that was an accuracy problem or just a damage, but <clears throat> we didn't really get hit very hard by those. Clearly, the turreted approach is the way to go, even if it makes your tank look like this. You do probably need a proper colour scheme for the Andes, though. That probably doesn't help. I don't think they haven't got around to paint them properly. But they did good. They got the win there. Listening. Moving Let's out. go up and fight that other Matrix. You can definitely kill that. Maybe you have some resources though, just to make sure you're ready to go. Listening. You... We don't need that Moving terrain out. back... Or that point back immediately, so we'll, have, we'll capture that one. But this one we will try and take back straight away. We should be able to beat that. We've beaten two of them, but we've beaten one before with a, that exact squadron. Minimal damage. Listening. I mean, basically none. Naga, you're nearly there. On my way. Rumble, rumble. That's a bit. I'm starting to wonder if I'll even bother with aircraft at this point because we haven't used any so far. I guess the the Angies are kind of close, but. Listening. Oh, where did the Chris end up? That one. Ah, that one's capturing. I think. We'll start them apart like before. Listening. I pull up the terrain just to make sure we can see it. Is this the same little tank? It is. Did immediately get a hit that time, but was the birdie's not knocked out, we should be alright. Ooh, okay, that one was a bit worse. Is that what it does when it actually lands a hit? What did it do? Oh, it's str uh oh, it struck the detection. That's not good. Flip we aboard that one that's damaged? Yes. Okay, I might be doing some manual aiming then. Let's aim to try and uh Try to aim and try and knock out one of its cans. We're taking over for the AI. Yeah, 
think that's one offline. Let's aim for the other one. <laughs> the other one's joining us. The look of it. Looks like this isn't a guaranteed win against these things, but it's a pretty good odds, I think. It's kind of not for flying. Well, be okay. Well, actually, mind you, it still can't aim. The protection systems are down, so you might still want to do some shooting for it. Let's see the weak point on this thing. It must have missile launch at the front, right? Actually, where are the launchers? I actually, don't know. Uh, in that case, maybe it's steering system. Actually, it's big jet thruster at the back, at the top. Sever its mobility. Lower though, maybe. Self prepared now, I can let it do its thing. Self prepared, I think. Probably the players repaired it. Uh, not player, what do you call them? Rambot. Rambot's fixed it. But yes, it's nice to see that our tanks are working against the Lightning Hoods. They're not perfect. But, in sufficient numbers, or the right, or with the right strategies, it does seem to still, they're still capable of getting kills, it's just a little prickier. Our losses are definitely worse, we may still have to build some new stuff, well, we probably will be building some new stuff, but, for the minute we're good. So there's a collision there. Shame Night Tide doesn't really do much beyond being visual, and it only lasts a few seconds. I've got a penalty to visual, like detection systems, maybe. Maybe something they could do with it. I think the thing's all but dead now at this point. It's not fighting back anymore, its movement's erratic. I think maybe it's lost a stabilizer or two and it's trying to compensate, but that means it can't move at full speed. It's dead. Is it worth trying to capture? Probably not, honestly. The the Angies are this but better. Oh, and it also just did that. I'll make that timing up. Right, let's take our resource point back. Moving out. We already won that off someone else, I think, so. At the base probably yeah. needs to be trying to take all the resources again. When the supply runs come past. Right, yes. so you guys are capturing okay. Ah, Naga's yes. on the point. Oh, also need to play it in. Alright, let's get to you building AT campaign and harvester. Something like that, a new resource base is being set up. I do like how this thing looks. There, with the crane and everything. Could we build a better base? Probably, but I mean, this one works. You don't really need much more resource to harvesting there. It's a base, it's not going to be well defended, even if it does get attacked. Like, you still only got that 25,000 limit. You can't build it with like big stone walls or anything, it's still going to have to be small. We could build some dedicated turrets, but again, I don't know. It's really worth it compared to just having some more light tanks or fast tanks like the Angies that can just zip around and go sort stuff. I'm trying to think what names we've got left as well for the uh, tanks. I guess we've got Salamande, we've got Rosalie, uh, God, who else was there? Have we done... God, what's the red girl? Hilda? No, not Hilda. Yeah, maybe it is Hilda. I think we've got Hilda. Okay, so we've got at least a few, at least three names from major characters I can think of. I think there's another one. Could even do the villain technically, but yeah, I don't think I'll pop it that guy. Oh, Tusk, I guess we could do. Maybe another one. The old goofball. I do like him. He was quite fun in the series. Uh Alright, it's nearly up and running. 
I want to see how long it took to build these things in uh, practice. There we go. Nope, not done. Oh yeah, it's got the actual drill. I forgot about that. Very cute. I'll leave that there because that's working now, clearly. Yeah. Like I say, we'll get another balloon up. Uh, right, have we got anything available that could... You're on supply run, you're a balloon. You two are doing stuff. You two are doing stuff. Yes. Yes. Any of you undamaged? Yes. I'm a little hesitant to split this group up at the moment. Because they're so badly damaged. Um, and they're not very big. Tell you what, yes. let's get some of those new Chris's built. Let's get some more of those built. I think I hit repair rather than uh, spawn in. Right. Let's get a couple more of those built. Load another one manually. Uh, maybe a few Vivians to go with them. I mean four. They should take care of lighter things that the bigger missiles can't hit. Right, and with that, we'll call that episode there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Again, I'm going to try and record a bunch of From the Let's episodes today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, you guys should have a bit of From the to watch for a bit, because I know I've been flip-flopping around a lot, and like I want to make sure the channel doesn't get stuck as only one thing, but I'd also like to provide, you know, what a lot of you are here for originally. So, hopefully you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.